find a software bodies are oh hey we're recording now um so scorch here just doing a normal review a normal nothing out of the ordinary review just wanted to talk about super hot because it's the most innovative shooter i've played in years super hot is the first game created by super hot team and is currently part of xbox's games with gold until April 16th. And given Super Hot's status as an internet darling, it was the first game with gold I was excited about since Speedrunners. I was originally going to play it for personal enjoyment, but after finishing such an innovative game, I just felt inclined to share my experiences with everyone. So, let's do that now. Super Hot is broken down into levels which you complete by destroying the red guys. I say destroy, cause they don't just die. They shatter. But that's all I can really say about this section, as I feel that explain that there's a story feels like a spoiler in itself. So all I can say is the way they present your purpose to you is a major reason why this is the most innovative shooter I have played in years. And you definitely need to try it out, Nate. Super Hot uses a minimalistic art style if you wish to be melodramatic. But yeah, the game seems simple with you and the weapons being black and the enemies being red in a white world, but the real details are placed delicately behind the comprehension of the uninitiated. Hot. Super hot. And it is these details that lead Super Hot to feeling so innovative. Then, there's the music. Oh wait, no there isn't. The only sounds you hear in Super Hot are the sound effects when you fire, when you hit enemies, and when you clear a level, you get it here. As you watch the replay in full motion. Honestly, the way they keep saying Super Hot's really annoying, but it's easy to skip, so no harm done. Super Hot places you in an arena and you need to kill everyone before you are killed. That's about it, with a few exceptions. But the major innovation that the Super Hot team added is that time only moves when you do. Well, that's not quite true, but time moves at a pace so slow that you'll hardly notice, and only speeds up to match your pace. There aren't too many levels in Super Hot, making it short with about two and a half hours for my first playthrough and an hour and a half for recording. But I need to say, I enjoyed those four hours much more than twice that amount of time on any modern shooter I can think of. And I bet that statement will hold up even if they do complete Time Slayer's Rewind. After you beat the story, you unlock several modes, enabling you to be able to play Super Hot for an indefinite amount of time. These modes include an endless arena and challenge modes, such as Katana Mode, where you get a move faster and you kill everyone with some sort of weird oversized knife. I don't know if you got the message yet, but you should definitely go play Super Hot, especially if you have an Xbox Live and watching this before April 16th. Yeah, it's a short game, but its value is found in its uniqueness and replayability. I mean, Super Hot's uniqueness is on par with the bunker, and Super Hot's replayable. So, with its length being its only real handicap, I give Super Hot an 8 out of 10. Because, after all, it really is a short game. Well, I usually try to put some last second attempt at humor here, but instead I'll just tell you to hit that red button and press the bell that appears next to it. Oh, and if you want, you can press your preferred thumb icon on your way out. And once again, thanks for watching. Now leave.